Medicaid educators, you know what time it is. Bitch, you need an interview? Hit your boy, bitch, bride, say cheese, get money, what the fuck? I heard you back to racking up and sacking up in cubicles. Looking mean as fuck, but sweet as fuck, just like the usual. It's your boy Suave the Wiz with the Mad Ad Podcast. Thanks for stopping by. And today, I got an important guest, a longtime friend, dope ass MC, my boy Duke OTE. Yo. What's goody, Ma? Man, thanks for joining. Glad to be here, man. You already know what time it is, man. So, just for the crowd's sake, you know, the listeners watchers' sake, you know. Who are you and where are you from? Like, can you describe your neighborhood in any, like, word or series of words? <laughs> I am Brother Duke O.T.E. You feel me? I'm from Bride County, Florida. A lot of hell. Uh, somewhere everywhere for a lot of hell, if you want to be exact. Um, yeah, well, I don't, I don't know. You from where I'm from, you know what it is. <laughs> yeah, definitely. When you say that, I mean, I, I agree. Would you say it's kind of grimy out here? Is it filthy? How is this crime ridden? Is it a bad neighborhood? Or is there like good in your neighborhood, do you feel like? It's good in the neighborhood. It got its ins and outs. It's like, it's what you're doing. You feel me? A lot of people out here either chasing something or you feel me, either just, just living. Yeah, for real. I, I do agree with you, bro. It's a situation where, like, I mean, do you feel like your environment influenced you a lot in who you are today? Oh, or yeah. do you feel like your environment didn't really impact your growth as a person? Ah, uh, okay, like, well, of course, being where I'm from, that kind of gave me the personality, you know, being who I am. Uh, but, like, when you say that, though, as far as like growth, I can't really agree on that because it's like, damn, I never been nowhere to experience. You feel me? I never left the city yet. You know what I mean? You of course taking steps to leave the city, right? I would assume. Yeah. With a name like Duke OTE, was it like given to you, or was it something that you concocted yourself? I think I put that put that together myself. Um, I was always thinking about life. You feel me? And why I'm here. Or not even to why I'm here, but <clears throat> just being here is the experience itself. I mean, having life, you know, being on earth, being born, going through it, it's all an experience. I do agree with you, bro. Life is a boat, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like what goes into your creative process? Like, what is your regimen? Do you just get up and say, hey, I'm hitting the studio? Or do you like, you know, I don't, I don't get up and have a bowl of cereal and then just make a song? <laughs> Usually I'll be plotting on something. Uh, if I really feel like I want to record it, something I've been working on, something I like, I got together, I don't thought about it, and I'm like, okay, I need to hear this on the beat. I need to, I need to listen to it now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You just get a feel for it. Yeah, get a feel for it. I do like, I do get up and just come in and uh, try to do something, but that's when it become like work. Like, yeah, that's ah. never the vibe. When you're just trying to create creatively. Yeah. You just gotta let it flow. You, you gotta know let I mean? it flow. So I feel like I do need to just go uh, have those experiences outside of where I'm from. <laughs> I definitely agree with you. I mean, in your neighborhood, do you feel like people love you or people hate you, and does it really affect your creativity or just you as a person? Um, it don't affect me. I feel like it's always been love. Um, love conquers all. Love conquers all. You know. Go on. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> even if there is like love conquers all, because even if there is like negativity around, you feel me? If I'm not finna, you know, feed into it, it ain't gonna affect me. It ain't gonna bother me. You know, it's just death for the birds. You know. I definitely agree with you. I mean, like, what's your favorite thing about being a rapper? Like, like, what do you feel like is the most just fun thing, if you were to tell someone, hey, you know, be a rapper, what would you kind of throw to at say me? be a rapper? I don't know. I mean, I get a thrill in, like, when I, like, catch the flows, when I see you do some shit. But, like, I like when I relate. You know what I mean? When, you, when you're relatable. Yeah, I like when, you know, people listen to my music or playing my music and, like, they fuck with it so much because it's like, damn, it's something they... Can, it, it resonates it with them. Resonate they understand with the message. Yeah. I like that because then I feel like it ain't just me. 
And that's why I be doing it too, because I know I ain't the only one that feel how I feel all the time. Definitely. So it's a way to target your audience, you'd say, like, you know, you know, whomever you are reaching for. Right. What do you believe says, separates you from the average MC? <clears throat> Well, separate me from the average MC. Mm -hmm. uh, me myself, I guess. Um, I can't really pinpoint too many things that that make me different from everybody, but I am who I am. And all right, I feel that you definitely got to be stern on just your faith and what you got going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. And all just right. keep pushing because it's a lot of negativity in you know in the music industry. All right. But definitely, as an indie artist. When it comes to your releases, um, who is your target audience? Are you trying to target the streets? Are you just making it for people trying to vibe? Like, yeah, so many everybody. If you fuck, if you fuck with music, is music. You hear good music, you like good music. It's all open for interpretation. Yeah. It's up to you. Definitely. You, know I mean? you like it, you like it bad. Because <laughs> that's how I am. When I hear something I like it, I'm listening to it. Like, when I, the, the artists that I like. Mm -hmm. You feel me? That's what made me rap too. You feel me? I was listening to their shit so much. I'm like, okay, hold on. I feel like I might be able to pull <laughs> this one out. Yeah. I say, you know, you having a vast catalog, you know, is very important in this game. When it comes to your releases, what do you think is your favorite song from your discography? Oof. I don't even know if I got a favorite song. I don't. Just, just give me one. What? If you could name one, <laughs> just give me one song from any of your discography. One song, song for me. <laughs> and I said it because it's like every every song that I've done, you know, I've sat with it for a while, you know, so I've grown to love this, yeah, this music, you grown a bond with the music. And I feel like I got so many songs that's gonna always resonate with me that I'm gonna just forever love. But I don't know, we could say be about yours, peace of mind. Even though I hardly listen to that anymore, but that's forever a classic. But um, I hmm. got you stumped a little, man. You yeah, got me stumped a little bit because I made so much music. You feel me? I got so many songs that I, that I really do enjoy. I hopeless romantic. Hopeless Romantic. Hopeless See, that's romantic. your favorite for me to discard. For, for, for right now, I might uh, have I'll a different bookmark it. I'll bookmark it. <laughs> you, buddy. I have a different answer for you later. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's for sure, man. I say, I know you've been working on your tape very, like, you know, just treacherously, yeah. aimlessly. You My know what I mean? song might be on there. Nah, you never know, <laughs> man, until you make it. You feel know I me? Mean? Yeah. So I say, do you have any upcoming projects that the streets should know about? Stone and Lonely. Stone and Lonely is definitely on the way. I mean, when, when's a set release date? Do you have a set release date? <sighs> February 22nd. Right. February 22nd. What's the date? The, the 16th? 16th, I do, I do say so, yes. It's the 16th. Mm. Shit, if it ain't the 22nd, it's the 22nd. Yeah, right. 22nd. Wait a minute. If y'all don't get it, y'all gonna get it. <laughs> uh, I like right, that date, though, so that's why. And I was already planning. A little, a little, a little, a little south. You know what I mean. How do you deal with stressful situations outside of the music? Uh, what is a good way for you to cope and get back know. into the music? Mm -hmm. I really sit with myself. I think about the things and like real, like pay attention to what exactly got me feeling like that. You know what's around me, and do I really have to sit here and be upset about that or? be depressed and down about this when it could be something else that could have me up. Like, you feel me? I get stuck. Yes. I get stuck. Everybody gets on um, writer's block, you know, but, creative block. Yeah, but like, I just, you know, sit down and just like, okay, you know you gotta do this shit. You have you gotta, to. Like, it's it's a situation it. where, yeah, you do gotta kind of pause and just take a step back like, yeah, I'm fucking doing this. Yeah, me. give yourself some breathing room. I feel like I do be over overworking myself sometimes. And that's probably why I get in the block with stuff like that. But, um, taking some breathing room, I, I guess, to, like, really just, you know, give your mind a, like... Some time to kind of reset. Yeah. And then, you know, get back to it, what you need to. That's just what is it, what it is sometimes when it comes to music industry. 
Mm-hmm. And being an artist, being a person, because you, of course you're a person first, you know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta take care of yourself. Very you much. You gotta take care of yourself. If you ain't feeling good, if I ain't feeling good, I ain't in the mood or nothing, really. You know? And I gotta feel that. Try something. Mental you know? health is real, real, real important, you know? Yeah. People neglect it. You know? I, I really wish should it. start writing, like, more, like, as far as, not just the rap. But like writing my thoughts down to like, you know, just get it by. Cause most of the time I don't really talk about it. Yeah. Nah, I feel that, bro. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I, I did do a video a while ago. I'm like, you know, I, I kind of felt like rappers, they need therapists. Mm. Or like that should be a part of their deal when they sign it because it's coming with a lot <laughs> of shit. Rap therapy. Yeah, because I, I really, my whole base and what I felt on it was just like, what, what, like, they go through so much to get there. Yeah. And then when they get there, it's hard, It's already hard to maintain it. You're so already much. black in hip hop. It's a lot of stress, uh, a lot of pressure. So, of course, these black dudes, they need a young man or whatever. They need some type of therapy. Yeah. Like, because they don't even have time for themselves. They have time for pictures, mm-hmm. this, that, tours. Yeah. It's just awful, bro. You know what I mean? That, that's real, though, because, like, going through so much and then... Just sitting with it. That's why motherfuckers rap about so much demons. Yeah. So, so like, what is something you've accomplished that you never thought was possible, you know, ever since you've been in this music game? Um, everything I accomplished, I, I seen it. Um, a lot of things that I imagined, I realized I was, I was doing it already. You know what I mean? And that's why, that's why I'm like, damn, you really got to appreciate what you do. Yes. Or like where you at you know what i mean because like you know like when we first started like doing shows talking about like damn well i imagine like you know one day I'm trying to do a show i'm trying to rock out a crowd like da, da, da. i'm thinking it wasn't like how i imagined like the whole crowd big crowd everybody know my lyrics but when we did that show at O'Malley's, you feel mm-hmm. me people in the crowd they were vibing to it. Knew the lyrics, you know, vibing to it. it. Definitely just, wrong. I was to able it. to do that. That was you something know, you dreamed of. Something I dreamed of. And I accomplished that. Um, yeah, and I know I'm gonna meet rappers. I met rappers. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just part of it. Part of it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so, um, um, shit. Oh, maybe that that first interview with uh, Imano. Yeah, that was that was major for me. That was very significant to my career and like very much. Know, that was a very yeah. good interview with Imano. Shout out Imano Talk. You go stupid. Yeah, that was very. That was very. Nah, for sure. Imano. I I say boom. If I was an upcoming artist, I know you're you know you're still very indie coming up. What do you think is the best route? Signing a major or staying independent? Oof. I feel like. Stay independent when you got that hustle in you. Like, if you a boss, like, and you know how to handle business for sure, being independent is just is just the way to go. Like, cause you can you can handle that. You feel me? You know how to manage yourself. You know how to manage your money. You know how to manage your surroundings. Yep. I feel like that's the best route in that mindset. But if you somebody. Who kind of don't know, you feel me? How, how the game goes, shit. what's the yeah, industry about, me? spending your money on dumb shit, you know, you're just chasing the dragon. Chasing, man. yeah, t- yeah, that's, you got to know what you're doing, you got to be able to stand on, stand on your own. So I feel like going independent is the best route. Not saying I won't take a deal if it's right, you know what I mean? Because who knows who I run into, who I meet, who might. You know what I mean? You know, what's out there for you? What opportunities present right. themselves? Like, yeah. definitely, you never know in this game. Mm-hmm. You just got to kind of put yourself out there. Mm-hmm. I mean, what should your fans be looking forward to from your new releases? <clears throat> do you like, you know, what type of phase do you feel like you're leaning into? What type of music do you, do you want your fans to really hear? I think I've been getting on... I've always been soulful. But I think I've been leaning more on, like, the R&B vibe. Uh... Trying to resurrect, you know, a dead horse? Are you trying to, because they say R&B is dead, you know? 
They say R and B dead. R and B died. So they really? say Yeah. Jacquees is the king of R and B anyways. So what? Let's just get that straight. Get the facts straight. Jacquees? Jacquees is the king of R and B man. I know like one or two Jacquees songs. According to him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah. Okay, Jacquees. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I'm not even, I can't, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even, because I might meet Jacquees, I might, I might want to do a song with Jacquees, because Jacquees actually, you know, he's pretty good. Jacquees is pretty but good, though. R&B, uh, Brent Fayez, that's, that's R&B. I mean, people are not really. They say Brent Brent's fire. There's a there's a couple Brent, people Brent, that, that are doing their thing, but like they're saying that the genre is just like total flatline. You know what I mean? That's that's a thing people have really been getting at. Uh, like, we yeah. about to bring R and B back, and we about to bring it back like how they did it in the nineties and in the eighties, baby. You know that that real good loving that song. Um, but that ain't really. Stoning on it too much because that been kind of hype. Jovene made all the beats, you know, it's a lot of bounce in them. Yeah, shout out Jovene Beats. Yeah, Jovene Long. That boy's sweet right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, I say, a good grind could change your life. A few years ago, you just began your journey. You know, as you're getting further in your career, was there ever a point that you felt like maybe this is something you didn't want to do or you might not make it? Ooh, I mean, when I think about it, something um, that I don't want to do, I think about like that industry shit. And I really think about like, damn, do I want that much attention? You know what I mean? You got to set your price and you know, see how see how much you're really trying to yeah, go put out there. Yeah, yeah, I, I, like, I don't think I want to be a mega star, but I feel like I want to be, I want to be known to a point at least if I die. You feel me? The world it, means It's important. You feel me? It'd be like, I know made an impact somehow. If I ain't touch you, the whole world, if I... You touch something. Yeah. You touch something, bro. I definitely feel that one, dude. It's it's like that, though. A lot of, you know, a lot of people are in this game, and they're here, and they're there. They're here tomorrow, gone the next day. Yeah. Well, here today, gone the next day. And I, I just feel like, in this game, you only have, like, three to five years. Hmm. So... Yeah, because I, I mean, I don't think rap is my whole thing, yeah. you know? I'm trying to take it beyond just rap, doing shows, you know? I know everybody think about, you know, doing the movies, and, but I really want to be into that, you know? Like, I really want to be... You, you know, take it to that next level. Yeah, like, I want to have my own little voiceover shit, you know what I mean? Cartoons. Definitely. You got to just, yeah, I mean, you got to step into that bag. Of course, <laughs> hip-hop is a good way to, like, you know, segue into those type of endeavors. Yeah. Um, what exactly do you want to achieve with your music going forward? Going forward? Uh, I just want to make some money. I really do. I just want to make some money. I want to uh, do some rapper shit, I guess. You know, I do want to rock that big crowd. Um, yeah, I just want to... I just want to plant my feet into something where, you know, I can do more. I can, you know. Expand. Expand. Have everything that I don't have now. Well, which I do appreciate what's around now. But, uh, you know, I just want that chance to provide, though, for my people. That just, you know, really, I yeah. mean, I definitely feel that. That's the goal. You know, I mean, that's the I end goal at all times. Yeah, I want this rap shit to, like, you know, get me there. It's been a Mad Ad Podcast with your boy Suave the Wiz. Thanks for stopping by. Yo, shout out my boy Duke OTE. Y'all check him out on all platforms. Stop playing, bro. Counting me in here and we kicking in. Da do. Da do. I'm out of here. Fuck the Trinity knocks, I'm opening doors And with a success to my nose, a hundred percent The giant complete on the low I know that all that be glitter and gold She let me fuck cause I'm bold, but humble